Well, this video has oh. just gone to hell. Well, sorry, is that me? Is that to help you? Should just keep the cameras rolling and like, do we Bob Parker's talk. Welcome back into the Ratty Studio. I'm Buzz Cutler, sitting alongside intrepid reporter Bob Pockris. Of SceneDaily.com. Who is sitting alongside not-so-intrepid reporter Bass Masters. Much less intrepid. Of Rowdy.com. We've been talking about the crew chief carousel in NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. One guy we have left to talk about is Juan Pablo Montoya. They kicked Brian Patty to the curb, and everybody seems to be clamoring for Brian Patty in this offseason. Seems to be a very well-respected crew chief. Probably will end up with Clint Boyer. And now Jim Pullman loses out on, on being named permanent crew chief for the 42. And we get Chris Heroy. From Hendrick. Sunshine. What can you tell us about Mr. Heroy? First of yeah, all, are we pronouncing his name right? I, I believe so. Okay. Um, he was Mark Martin's favorite engineer. And remember, then he went to Dale Earnhardt Jr. for, for the 2010 right. season. And then when they did the whole crew chief swap, Ended up or back. crew swap, he was back with Mark, Mark. Martin. So, um, you know, if Mark Martin believes in you, then. That's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, I mean, and and they, they had that they had, from they Hendrick, had that great success in two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily the great success in two thousand eleven that they would have liked, but um, he, he's a guy that uh, you know is probably ready to be a crew chief and somebody that uh, you know. I mean, is it is it a little surprising that he's going with this high profile? You know, at, at a new organization a little bit, but. Um, you know, I think uh, maybe if you're looking for magic, you got to reach a little bit. Yeah. And but has he ever called a race? I mean, has he ever had to deal he's with called race a couple strategy? nationwide races? Has he not? Yeah. Didn't he? Uh, I, mean, I think he was Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief mm -hmm. there for a couple of races. So. And Jimmy, I think he called a couple for Jimmy. And so before. yeah. So you know, he's called a few. I think. Uh, I, I don't think calling races is as much a big a deal as trying to help that pr that that organization get their cars back in shape. Yeah, because I mean, they were so good a couple of years ago. I mean, you look at it and. Uh, Boy, I mean, you know, Montoya and McMurray so, so often just weren't even factors in races. Whoop. So I, I think he's, not only is he coming in as crew chief of Montoya, I think he's coming in to take as a, kind of an outside look at this organization and see what they need. What about Montoya specifically as a driver? I think a lot of us watch this guy, we see his talents, very obvious in many situations, and yet there's a lack of consistency there, maybe trying to get too much at times, or what does he miss? Is he missing something as a driver, an approach maybe, to be successful? I mean, I just, I just think, you know, a transition to stock cars, then it's, it's one of those... It's one of those things where it's all seat of the pants type of feedback, and um, and I think at times Ganassi has being a two car team, maybe not having everything that all the that some of the other teams have as far as simulation right. and that kind of stuff. I think you know they've they it's, it's harder for them to stay ahead uh, because I I don't think maybe they have all the resources. Right. I mean I think they have they have an, they have enough resources, but I don't think they have all the resources maybe of a Hendrick, Hendrick or a Gibbs or a Roush. Or a Roush. And and I think that they don't have enough teams and enough drivers giving the feedback may be necessary right. to keep them good, ahead. Good, consistent cars rely heavily on good, consistent feedback. Exactly. But, you know, when Juan Pablo Montoya has been at his most successful, it is when he has embraced the notion or the philosophy of getting a good points day and not pushing so much. And that doesn't seem to be a crew chief function or an equipment function, although maybe he feels like he has to push because his cars aren't as good. But it's really, isn't it a philosophy, a driving philosophy that's also his undoing? Uh, because he because he pushes it too much, or you don't think he pushes it enough? Because he pushes too much and doesn't oh. just sort of go for a good points day when that's what. Well, there is when to he had. made the chase, he was like, "I just got to finish tenth or better, and I'm gonna." Yeah, make but that was chase. no fun, was it? I mean, I mean, <laughs> that's not the one Pablo we want to see. No, out there. I mean, I don't. And I think you just you take him out of his out of his comfort zone a little bit. I mean. Because it was a very conscious decision that year. Exactly, exactly. And, and then the thing is that when you play that game, everything has to go right still. Because they then if you have two or three bad wrecks, you're not making you up fall for behind. Him, exactly. So, you know, I think he's... With the speed they, they had in the cars in 2010, it was a real shame that he missed the chase. I mean, you look, yeah. You know. I mean, he drove well enough to make the chase in some ways in 2010. But this year... They were just, and, and and I think a lot of it. I think a lot of it is Montoya and his confidence in in the car and in the crew chief, and so I mean I think him 
It's it, almost like he needed a clean slate, yeah, a fresh I mean, start, a new guy, even a guy from outside the organization who's going to bring some fresh, different ideas. Yeah, I, I think just mentally sometimes it's mm -hmm. half the battle. If he, if he has a good attitude about things, then he drives better. Well, he and Connie are in the Dominican Republic right now enjoying some R&R, &R, so I'm sure that'll help. Uh, and thanks, watching Rowdy videos. Thanks, Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Because right, Twitter's tw so that's what we... That, that's, that's what Twitter's good for. And knowing where the drivers go on vacation. Exactly. Important information. And I bet if you consult Twitter, you'll see that Bob Pachris is going to Las Vegas, where he will bring us all the, uh, the dish from the banquet and from the championship festivities there. So, Bob, I know you got to catch a plane. Thanks for taking time out. I'm not going to comment on people's, what kind of sweater is this? It's a cable knit. On these people's cable knit sweaters. Yeah, so. unfortunately it's Carolina blue, and I'm trying What's not to hold that? that against you, but, you know, next time please. I got like hokey uh, it, red on. It's or probably or a gift. <laughs> I probably don't, you know, I'm probably insulting whoever gave me the gift, not remembering who gave it to me. Well, Bob, you're our gift oh, okay. to the NASCAR kingdom. Thanks. It's a lovely sweater I, wrote, I, I wore just for the Rowdy video. You look like a present. You're right. I have like confidence in it, just like uh, Juan Pablo Montoya has in Chris Eroy. Yeah. All you need is... I brought it all the way around. See that? You, you, yeah. Nice recapitulation. You're all right, ahead. we're going away now. Bye. <laughs> Rowdy.com. Mm -hmm. Say it like it is. Things distinctly hard to say, but harder still to do. You don't do your vocal warm ups with what you do on the radio, Bob. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.